What? Are they like playing tag? Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Don here, your dance mentor, and welcome back to the Dance Workshop series where we get to dive into K-pop and dance. And today, we're gonna be checking out Seventeen's Ready to Love. Now, normally I don't really uh, skip this far ahead because I'm still within the clap era and like, I kind of want to do a proper chronological order uh, process with Seventeen. But because of its recency, uh, I just decided to do it anyway since I even did that whole Rolling Stone video, which was kind of unintended, but a lot of you guys requested it anyway. So I'm just going to... I'm, be, I'm, I'm just gonna be honest I'm here for the dancing so before we get into this video however I know most of you guys who watch my channel are largely unsubscribed so if you have been enjoying my videos so far please consider hitting that like button subscribe and also turn on notifications so you don't miss another update so with that said so let's go I'm ready to I thought my video was lagging, but... There's our rapping. Ooh, those were loud. Yo, he's growing out his hair again. <gasps> Dancing in the rain. Ooh. Oh, heck yeah, dude. I got some Omarion like vibes from that. Except there are like 13 Omarions there. Ooh, that's cool. Oh man. Dang, I wasn't expecting that rain scene though. But after listening to 17 for a while, from the beginning at least, like I sensed the maturity a lot more this time around. It almost feels effortless. Like with their their performance, how they're dancing even. Like just how they're showcasing themselves on camera. But yeah, we're going to look deeper into their choreography. Things I'm going to be trying to expect out of this song is that there's a lot of just vocals within some verses. 
Um, I'm not going to be expecting a lot of heavy choreography only until I'd say the second part of the verse up until the chorus uh, because you got like this constant beat going on within the music. So I'm expecting a lot more heavy choreography in there. I'm sure there's going to be some sharp moments, also some delicate moments. I feel like this song is very, very sultry in a way. Yeah, let's go ahead and check this out. Mm. We're already starting off in the crazy blocking formation. Jeez, okay, there's a lot to take in there. Um, so far, the choreography, yeah, like I said, like we're, we're writing alongside lyrics. Um, and because there's no basses or, or percussions going on, we're not going to be expecting any like hits. Like in terms of popping technique, like we're not gonna see any much of that at least. A lot more flowy choreography. But we started off in a oh my gosh. I didn't expect them to go like already into pairings. Huh. See there's this weird thing about 17 like whenever i hear a vocal prominent verse or something like that with no percussions they'll still take movement and they'll have like full extensions they'll move like full out i would say it's it's so like it's an interesting choice i guess like i never would even expect that from any other group but 17 does this often so Huh. What? Are they like playing tag? Okay, um, <laughs> I don't really remember the lyrics from that specific part. Let me just, uh, okay, so I I'm just looking at the, the lyrics here. So we have Wanu and then into Mingyu that's singing. So the lyrics say, my feelings grew after I met you, just friends, that's not enough for me. Yet there's a blocking where they have four members sort of change places. I don't know how to make sense of that, to be honest with you. Like maybe I'm getting this feeling of like chasing after young love. I don't know how figurative that's supposed to be, but that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Like there's no musicality behind this uh, choice in blocking. Other than to just, you know, set up maybe the next formation. I don't know, but I, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Mmm, I was picking up. Oh! <sighs> I already love that join in, dude. Heck yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we got like stacks going on. Like, I think. Ah, see the cool one of the coolest things that 17 gets to do in their formations is that we don't often get to see stacks by stacks meaning like line dancers lining up behind each other um like a, a in sort of a, a domino type of formation usually you'd have have them split in windows or something like that which they do later on but here like we got a stack but it's it, it's asymmetrical. We got like three, three, four, and then three. But then, so it, it kind of almost feels like raising the bar, but in like a very frontal direction. Starting the join ins. Oh, that's so cool, dude.
Ah, uh, and they even find like the energy to kind of react to his travel too. And like, it, like there's a lot going on still. Cause you got the main core dancers here, but then you have the accents in the back just holding. And then cool, like as the energy travels from left stage left to right, uh, you kind of have them unraveling into a new spot. What is this? See, like this is the things that I don't know how to make sense of. Like sometimes they just make formations for the hell of it. And I can't understand even more context behind it other than what they're giving to me right now. But it is so what makes me so interested. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was the point of having six people kind of set the floor? You know, yeah, I think this is really just um, it's I don't think it's a formation at all. It's just a picture. I think that's just really what it is. Ah, we got an isolated section. Yo, I'm digging his shoes. Is that DK? What? Uh, Jesus Christ. Anyways, um. <laughs> Oh, and we got a switch off too. Cool. So in a way we have like a back reverse curtain reveal here. Cause usually when it comes to a curtain reveal, um, you have a core uh, group that's dancing and then you have people at the wings at the side waiting to sort of enter stage, but from behind the core formation. But we have, I think is someone who takes the formation forward just by himself, but everything around converges into like a next group. But then he, yeah, he, he reveals that he takes away his focus. Ah, so, okay, um, this is super, super minor. Like usually if I see someone walk off, they'll turn outside to exit. But in a way, someone kind of turns over inside of his shoulder to lead the focus into the next formation. <sighs> Smart dancers. Smart dancers. Oh, that was not Woozy. It was this. He was here the whole time. I'm so dumb. Who was that then? Who was this? Is that Hoshi? I'm so dumb. Anyways, going back. All right. Yo, the movement changed here. Oh, like even that ball change, that switch is has a different feel behind it. Cause normally we're we're into you know hip hop mode or even like contemporary mode, but this one feels a lot more um I don't wanna say feminine, but a lot more vulnerable. Even just the posture behind that is so different. It's very soft. It's very suave in, in some ways. What was that? Okay. See, stuff like this, I'm going to have to read the lyrics. Okay. So give me a second. See, in this translation, I'm getting this off of color-coded lyrics, by the way. So I don't even know if this is fully accurate. 
that expression lost in thought my secret recipe to make you feel better i guess maybe i have like this cleansing sort of feeling behind this blocking i don't know I will say it's a small of a moment, but I think this is what Dino, right? Every time I see Dino dance, I feel like he's he has this very. I almost feel like he dances full out. It's it's kind of like what I've been saying earlier with some uh, very soft but more heavy vocal oriented verses. Like when it comes to those, like Seventeen tends to dance big. That's Dino like all the time <laughs> and so it's just something i started to notice like he puts in 110 percent okay we got like so many reveals going on like starting from dino Dang, even with the hands in the pants, dude. He's just fully confident. Okay. So in a way, we got this sort of harmonic set going on. And the reason I say harmonic is because there are three different things going on here in terms of choreography. <laughs> so I think this is, is this June or Joshua? Um, so we got the outer circle and like this middle core plus the center, our main man. Mm. Whoa, risky there, risky. Mm. So when you have two separate choreographies sort of uh, happening simultaneously, is that you want to be able to match, match musicality somehow. It doesn't have to be all the way through within this section, but at least finding like thresholds or, or points within the choreography to still be in synchronized with each other. And so it, is, it was a little hard for me to see that through, throughout all this. Not gonna lie. Like to me, I completely saw this as two different things, I guess minus Joshua here. But if you look closely, like there's some in like we stay, like they'll have certain accents that sort of match, sort of, sort of match. Cause in a, in a way, like I think their, their whole intention behind that I think was to like make the picture busy. So in this case, like they kind of just added like different elements. In this case, different choreographies. There's also like a form formula or, or, or a way to sort of make sure that everything is still cohesive with each other. And so they got to find like certain sounds or even just certain moments within that section to match up somehow. But it, it's all different choreography. See that and then that's obviously when they kind of meet or converge at the end like they're on their one knee it would take like the normal person to probably watch this a couple of times even i had to watch that a couple of times but still interesting i love that 
I'm getting without you vibes again. Okay, all right. It's gonna it's gonna be a long video. I'm not gonna lie. Let's let's take it back. Let's take it back from this part. This part was so natural to watch. Ah, it's just, again, like I'm going back to just smart dancing because it's so, so efficient and it, it separates uh, June's formation and his dancers in a very effective way, but also stay within like the, the music or the, the vibe of the song, kind of what it gives. So like walking or just having pedestrian moments such as like this group to sort of fall off but kind of recalibrate back and then switch off here that's so cool okay <laughs> ah so cool dude like all these freestyle moments but then they're kind of finding different counts or, or different moments within that to just find their di or their what's it called their stacks like it, it has a very contemporary or broadway feel like this moment of release i would, I would even say and then we got the bridge again the k-pop dance bridge not like singing like bridge in general or music wise but like bridge as in formation dance formation this is their moment oh, why wasn't the eight in that what I'm curious but that was obviously heavy dancing that's probably their final moments of being able to dance together in unison yeah, maybe someone can tell me what the story behind that is maybe that was a fast move too jeez even that like little the one that Woozy was doing in the front. That's so fast. Crazy, because like I think in the, the song structure of the song, like I think we're dealing with 16th counts, but in a way like the move, the tempo, it's just going to be really, really fast. that we're doing it again ABA ah is that what it was they were running away is it is that thing like they're running away or trying to like hide because they that's sort of the lyrics of the song like run away to the other side of the world that's kind of what they're saying um, but oh, oh what It's like they're playing hide and seek, but it's not intended for that. It really is just, you know, for the purpose of to showcase running. But when they're in their spot, they're try just trying to set up the new uh, transition. You give me purpose. Okay. Cool. I would say well done, well done by 17 yet again.
for their newest release. Wow, I was not expecting that much blocking involved, that much formation and transitions. I think more so I wasn't really focused on their cleanliness this time around. It was more so their creative uh, side. I will say I, I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm a little overwhelmed by how much they, they've given us. Like normally, like this is a lot. Like I had to rewind some parts as you know already, but this was like unexpectedly a lot. And I don't know if that might even be a good thing, but nevertheless, this was an exciting one and it got me pumped. I don't, I don't know if I can speak for anyone else, but for this, it's just, it's exciting and it's never boring. Sometimes like with K-pop choreography, I'm only given things at a surface level or at face value. It pretty much stops from there. And as far as depth, like we're gonna see a lot of that within 17. And for this particular piece, there was just so much depth to digest. The main bits of this is really just about like the creative blocking side but i want to know what you guys think so let me know down in the comments below what you thought was unique or something i didn't catch but before we leave i just want to actually promote my socials a little bit because i don't really do that on this channel other than putting it on the description so you can follow me on twitter or even instagram uh, that would be nice and again thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys on the next video so peace out and stay eating.